Okay. What's up, guys? So it's been a very long time since I did a normal bike vlog. Um, oh my mirror is fine. Uh, as some of you may know, I generally I started straying away from these vlogs because uh, sometimes I just find that it's a bit too boring. Uh, for me personally and maybe for you guys watching, I don't know. I prefer doing a, a topical kind of video. Um, but I've also, I also uh, enjoy talking to the camera face to face more. Uh, where you can see me. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I thought I'd start off the video today like this. Just for a change. Keep everyone on their toes. Um, so I'm going to meet up with Fix It with C4 and two of his buddies. I think one is a subscriber of his and that other guy is a subscriber's friend, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna go right around the coast, I think, um, from town into Hart Bay uh, for some breakfast and then not too sure where after that um, but yeah so I do have a few updates as well um, so at the moment I'm actually thinking about selling my bike yes um, I have that itch again where I feel like I need to upgrade um, so I've decided I'm gonna sell my bike and upgrade to something a little bit newer um, so I currently have my eye on two bikes and I've test ridden both of them already um, the first one that I tested was the Triumph Speed Triple 1050 um, which is a really really nice bike it was 2012 uh, the one I rode uh, had been uh, tuned and upgraded and stuff uh, I think it was putting out 160 horsepower which is pretty sweet uh, the standard power output of the speed triple is about 128 which is only 8 more than this bike does this bike comes this bike does 125 but the torque on this on the speed is a bit more uh, the speed triple puts out 110 uh, yeah, 110 Newton meters uh, and my two owner puts out 102 So yeah, that was the first one really nice bike. I really like it uh, then the second one um, Is the Aprilia Tuono RSV4 or well, the RSV or V4 whatever it's called Tuono V4 So it's the new version of this bike um, Also 2012 uh, 2011 actually um, I test rode that a couple of days ago and it was flipping awesome. Uh, let's get past this truck. Uh, yeah, I mean, as expected, it was flipping awesome. I, uh, I really, really want the Tuono. Uh, which way? Whoa, red car. Come on. Um, man, why is there so much traffic? It's Sunday morning, half past seven. There's this much traffic. Um, yeah, uh, I'd really like the Tuono. Uh, it's a bit more expensive than the Speed, uh, but well, it's not that much more expensive. But uh, the Tuono comes with a whole bunch of stuff that the Speed doesn't. Uh, so the Tuono has got traction control, launch control, uh, three rider modes, um, obviously ABS, anti-wheelie, um, all the kind of stuff that you would find in a much higher end bike. Uh, whereas the Tuono, uh, sorry, whereas the Speed Triple has nothing. It's basically, I think it's just got ABS and that's it. So, yeah first prize would be the Tuono but they there's two that I looked at and both of them I'm pretty sure are going to be sold by the time this bike gets sold 
so we'll have to see about that but either way I'll be happy with both as I, I really like both bikes um, so yeah that's that's one of the first big updates and then the second one is I've done a bunch of mods to this bike that uh, hasn't really been seen on the on my videos yet um, if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen them already but uh, as you can see I've, I've put some nice bar and mirrors on which are way better than the stock ones I can actually see what's behind me without looking into my arms um, and they're small and they look good it cleans, cleans up the nose of the bike quite well um, and then the second mod I did was I actually have some tank grips now so I don't have to slide around on the tank anymore this is actually the first day I'm using them uh, they seem to be working pretty well nice and grippy especially with my jeans on um, so that's cool and then the third was I had my wheels painted so my wheels are currently gold um, I'll show you uh, I'll show you that later in the video um, but yeah I did my wheels did the tank grips did the mirrors um, I think that's about it really and then I've got a new chain and sprockets waiting for me uh, I decided to change up the gearing a bit so I'm going 16 in the front and 43 at the back so standard is 17.42 um, so I'm just changing the gearing a bit to give it a bit more punch I don't, I don't really care about the top end the bike only does about 240, 2.50 on a good day so not really after high speed uh, this is all about torque uh, and the change in gearing is going to make that a lot more pronounced because uh, this bike's got quite a brutal torque curve um, I mean even with the standard gearing you can re you can power wheelie first second third if you're really hammering it um, so that's just going to make it a little bit easier for that but yeah I think we'll just make the, the bike a bit more fun not that it isn't already uh, what else so that uh, oh so about probably about a month ago now I was gonna go to the track uh, with fix it at C4 with yeah fix it with C4 and Viper 1350 uh, and I was there I'd been through scrutineering and everything and uh, I had to go for a decibel check uh, and yeah so with my other exhaust on I did not pass the sound requirement for the track uh, which is the first time that's happened um, the limit for the track is 108 decibels uh, at 8,000 rpm I think uh, and my bike was putting out 118 decibels and I didn't even get to the 8,000 rpm testing limit <laughs> So they told me to go home. You're too loud. So yeah, that kind of sucked. I was very depressed that day. Um, but it's fine. I put my stock exhaust on, and the other ba the bike sounds normal again. Um, interestingly, though, uh, the difference between the two pipes is quite noticeable. Uh, so with my other pipe, I gained a lot of mid-range torque. Um, whereas with this one it seems a bit flatter and a bit dull um, the loud pipe definitely gave me a lot more pull uh, whereas this is everything is smoother but the pull isn't as nice or as strong but uh, it's only going to be for the track so I don't really mind so yeah uh, we're nearly at the meeting point. Well, I'm nearly at the meeting point. So I'll catch up with you guys on the road. And uh, yeah, I'll check you later.